Special effects are defined as certain processes used in the film industry. These can be the visual illusions, props or costumes, specific camera work, and stage directions, or the use of computer graphics to create elements of films that could not be done otherwise. An example of a special effect is zooming. Zooming is when the physical camera itself has its lens adjusted, which increases the image size. Or within computer graphics programs, and an image has its scale adjusted to make it seem that it is becoming larger or smaller. Some I asked why would a visual effects team use a zoom effect? It could be in order to highlight a certain section of the scene, or to create a transition into the next scene smoothly. Frame rates, file sizes. Frame rate refers to how many times a frame is displayed in a second and can be referred as to as hertz or frames per second FPS. A higher frame rate allows for a smoother image and responsive feel. The most common frame rates to film at are 24, 30, and 60. Frame rates can also vary on use case. For example, movies are filmed at a cinematic 24 frames per second, and when gaming, a frame rate of 60 FPS is a must. Most displays refresh at 60 Hz, but as technology advances, we are seeing higher frame refresh rate displays, for example, 120 Hz or 240 Hz, in monitors, TVs, computers, and even smartphones. Frame rate has a significant impact when storing files or filming, as you are storing a lot more information at the same resolution. The more frames in the, in the shot, the more storage taken by the file. This means a user should only film at the frame rate and resolution required in order to keep a smaller file size. Video is almost, is almost always stored using lossy compression to reduce the file size and still keep and view at a usable quality. File sizes, image size. Image size refers to how much space the image takes to be stored. Image size, the image size can be referred to using the width and height of an image in, in pixels. For example, most images and displays are 1920 by 1080 resolution. This is also referred to as the resolution of a display. The more pixels, the higher quality the dis image, but also the more storage it will use up. Image size also depends on what format you are using. For example, JPEG or RAW, where RAW will give you more, a lot more quality and information at the expense of having larger file sizes, mostly stored through loss and compression as JPEG, but also depends on file format. For example, RAW is stored through a lossless compression. File sizes, color depth. Color depth, also called pixel depth, refers to how many colors are displayed and how accurate a display can show its colors. Most typical displays are 8-bit or 6-bit, which is fine for mass consumer use. The higher the bit rate, the more color accurate colors are displayed. Professional uses such as content creators need at least an 8-bit color depth display or higher. A video file format is a type of file format for storing digital video data on a computer system. Video is almost always stored using lossy compression to reduce the file size. There are many video file formats and some popular examples are MPEG, MP4, and API. MP4 is the standardized video format because it is the most universal format with almost all video players supporting it. Mobile phones also support MP4. With the high degree of compression used in MP4 videos, this allows the files to be much smaller in size than other video formats. Reducing the file size doesn't immediately impact the quality of the file either. Almost all of the original quality is retained. This makes MP4 a portable and web-friendly video format. MPEG is a popular format for videos distributed in the internet because it uses a specific type of compression that makes streaming and downloading much faster and easier compared to other formats. This format can hold data compressed at such a high rate because it stores only changes that occur between each frame instead of keeping every frame of the video. MPEG files are really flexible in their video players, being able to be opened up using Windows Media Player, VLC, iTunes, and Winamp. AVI is a format introduced by Microsoft as part of its videos for Windows software. An AVI file uses less compression to store files and takes up more space than many video file formats like MPEG. AVI files also can be created without the use of compression at all. This makes the files lossless, which results in immensely large file sizes. The good side to the format being lossless is that it will not lose any quality. 
Importing and exporting is the basic needs of renavigating files and various types of data from one application to another. When you import, you're bringing information or file type from one platform to another, which is what is referred to as a type of data input. When exporting data, you're doing the exact opposite. Instead, this is a necessary step into acquiring this data, also known as a means of output through a system. A common example of exporting is backing up important data of a computer, or as a relevant example, saving important pieces of a project. Importing and exporting data can be simply put as copy and pasting, a combination of input and output of data sets between different applications, as these saved files or backups can be saved and placed onto another system. Video transitions are a common form of post-production, which allows all of the separately filmed clips to be seamlessly integrated and cut. Post-production is a vital tool into creating what is referred to as movie magic, allowing each clip to be matched together and paced to the speed of the movie. This can help accentuate a certain point within the film or add an extra layer of depth to not take away too much from the actual film. Transitions can also represent a passing of time, often referred to as jump cuts, hard cuts, or match cut. This is an example of a fade transition. Movie, film, and short clip titles are vital into underlying the story and intent of the film. This may also illustrate future events to reel in an audience. For example, Avengers Endgame, Star Wars, and Inception. Titles are the audience's first impression of what the screenplay will be about. A good title hints what the movie is about and attracts them to watch. Giving a movie or film a simple title may also make them more obtainable and easily remembered. Through search engines or word of mouth, when adding titles to a video, they're specifically, they're specifically used as an introduction tool, identifying a location, place, person, or subject of focus. More advanced levels of titles can be seen through cinematic sequences as more of a powerful expression of motion. Video compression is mainly used to process and decrease the total number of bits, also known as data rate, of a given video or image. A type of video compression format is lossy compression. Lossy compression is a way of compressing the data of the video or image and is intended to be used after the file is being completed its purpose and isn't being used. Due to its factor of sacrificing the video or image's quality to decrease the file size, lossy would work best for internet use. However, to edit the file afterwards it would be a bad experience overall due to how much detail was sacrificed. Another compression format is lossless. This compression format which allows the user to almost perfectly reconstruct the image or video from the compressed data which means all the information is retained once the file has been reconstructed. All the color depth, bit depth, pixels, frames and etc will be the exact same as the original. However, the file size would need to be much bigger compared to something like lossless compression since the file would need to keep and store all the current data so it can be reconstructed later and that means the file size must go up.